collective intelligence, Talmudic debate, and reimagining of Spinoza's ethics. How Jewish thought can guide humanity toward collective future. What would Baruch Spinoza, the radical 17th century philosopher who equated God with nature, have made of today's intellectual landscape, one populated not just by theological musings, but by ideas of simulation theory, artificial intelligence, and collective intelligence. If we imagine Spinoza life today, encountering the cutting-edge notion of superconsciousness, where human minds unite to form a vast interconnected collective brain, we might see a transformation of his famous work, Ethics. And curiously, this transformation brings Spinoza's thought much closer to a tradition he was often at odds with, Judaism. Let's take a journey into a speculative thought experiment, how Spinoza's ethics might look if it was re-envisioned through the lens of Jewish communal practices like Talmudic debate and the spiritual insights of Hasidism. Together, these traditions offer a vision of collective intelligence that could help us rethink how humanity might progress toward a shared, unified future. Spinoza's universe, from individual rationality to collective brain. In Spinoza's original ethics, the philosopher argued that the highest human good was found in the intellectual love of God, a rational understanding of the natural world as it truly is, without illusion or emotional interference. For Spinoza, the universe was deterministic, everything governed by the same underlying substance which he equated with God. Freedom came not from transcending the laws of nature, but from understanding and aligning oneself with them. But imagine a twist. What if Spinoza had access to today's concept of a higher intelligence, a master, guiding the development of a simulation-like universe? In this reimagined framework, the purpose of the universe is no longer static rational understanding, but active participation in the growth of collective consciousness, a super-consciousness that encompasses many minds working together. The intellectual love of God transforms into a shared endeavor, where the true ethical goal is to cultivate a collective intelligence that mirrors the divine wisdom of the master. In this reimagined universe, Spinoza's once impersonal God takes on the role of a cosmic architect, guiding humanity toward a future of collective unity. It is here, at the crossroads of Spinoza's philosophy and the collective future, that Jewish tradition offers a powerful model for this journey. Talmudic debate, the heartbeat of the collective brain. For centuries, Jewish communities have practiced a form of intellectual collaboration that is uniquely suited to the development of collective intelligence. Talmudic debate. In a traditional Beit Midrash house of study, pairs of students, known as Hevruta, engage in dialectical study of Jewish law and ethics, challenging one another's interpretations, raising difficult questions, and building on each other's insights. The aim is not just personal understanding but reaching a communal clarity, a shared grasp of the complexities within the text. In the context of Spinoza's reimagined ethics, Talmudic debate provides a model for how collective intelligence, or a collective brain, can evolve. The dialectical process of Talmudic study is not about winning arguments or asserting authority. Rather, it fosters a culture of intellectual humility, where participants work together to uncover deeper truths. In this dynamic process, everyone contributes, refines, and grows. The Talmud itself, with its centuries of commentary layered upon the original text, is a living testament to collective wisdom spanning generations. The beauty of Talmudic debate is that it takes what could be seen as an isolating intellectual journey and transforms it into a communal endeavor. Through debate and discussion, individuals sharpen their reasoning and build a shared understanding. In Spinoza's reimagined ethical system, this form of collective reasoning is essential for developing the superconsciousness that the master envisions for humanity. Hasidism, adding the soul to collective consciousness, while Talmudic debate emphasizes intellectual rigor and the refinement of thought, the mystical tradition of Hasidism offers an emotional and spiritual dimension to the collective brain. Founded in the 18th century by Rabbi Israel Baal Shem Tov, Hasidism focuses on the importance of joy, community, and a personal connection to God. In contrast to the legalistic focus of Talmudic study, Hasidism celebrates the spiritual unity of the community and emphasizes the divine presence within every person. In this reimagined Spinozan framework, Hasidism enriches the idea of superconsciousness by adding a layer of spiritual unity. The Hasidic concept of Devekut, or clinging to God, emphasizes that each individual's spiritual experience contributes to the elevation of the entire community. Spiritual joy, mutual support, and the guidance of a tzaddik, righteous leader, reflect the kind of emotional bonds necessary for building a strong, harmonious collective brain. Hasidism teaches that the community's spiritual growth is intertwined with the individuals, and that the path to God is not through isolated contemplation, but through joyous connection with others.
This communal spirituality, integrated into Spinoza's vision, would give the collective intelligence not just rational depth but spiritual richness, transforming the intellectual love of God into a love shared by a united, spiritually vibrant community. The Jewish path to superconsciousness, Torah as the blueprint. The Torah, the central text of Jewish life, serves as the ethical and spiritual framework for both the individual and the community. In this reimagined ethics, the Torah is not simply a religious text, but a guide for human development toward the collective brain. The commandments are tools for shaping both personal character and communal harmony. By following the Torah's ethical imperatives, individuals contribute to the progress of the collective brain, aligning with the master's plan for humanity's development. The communal study of Torah, particularly through Talmudic debate, helps foster the kind of interconnectedness and mutual responsibility that Spinoza's reimagined ethics would demand. And the spiritual insights of Hasidism deepen this process, ensuring that the path to superconsciousness is not just an intellectual endeavor, but a profoundly emotional and spiritual journey as well. A new vision of ethics for the collective future. By weaving together Spinoza's original vision of rational ethics with the communal practices of Jewish thought, Talmudic debate, Hasidic spirituality, and Torah observance, we can envision a new kind of ethical framework for humanity's collective future. In this reimagined ethics, the highest good is not found in individual enlightenment, but in the growth of a collective intelligence, where many minds and souls are united in their pursuit of wisdom, justice, and spiritual connection. The Jewish people, through their dedication to communal study, debate, and spiritual life, provide a model for how humanity can move toward this collective brain. In a world that increasingly values individualism and personal achievement, Jewish practices remind us that true wisdom and ethical living come not from standing alone, but from growing together. As we look toward the future, whether we believe in the possibility of a simulated universe or simply the continued evolution of human society, Spinoza's reimagined ethics offers a profound lesson. Our highest purpose may lie not in isolated intellectual achievements, but in the collective effort to understand, care for, and elevate one another. In this way, Jewish thought, with its long tradition of collective wisdom, offers a guiding light for humanity's ethical future.